Hello friends, welcome to EC Academy. In this lecture, let us understand threshold voltage in MOS transistors. So, what is a threshold voltage? A threshold voltage is denoted by Vt is the minimum gate to source voltage needed to form a conducting channel between source and drain of MOSFET. So, threshold voltage is denoted by Vt and it is the minimum gate to source voltage needed to form a conducting channel between source and drain of MOSFET. So, in other words, you can remember the threshold voltage is the minimum voltage required by the MOSFET to turn on. Now, if VGS is less than VT, which means if the gate to source voltage is less than threshold voltage, then the transistor will turn off. If transistor is turned off, this region of operation of transistor is known as cutoff region. So, in this cutoff region, the current IDS is negligible. So, you need to remember if VGS is less than VT, then the transistor is off. If we say transistor is off, which means the transistor is operating in cutoff region. In cutoff region, the drain to source current is negligible or it is approximately equal to zero. If VGS is greater than threshold voltage, then the transistor will be on and it will form the conductive channel and this region of operation is known as conduction region or active region. In this active region, the drain current increases. So, here if VGS is greater than VT, the transistor will be on and it will form a conducting channel and this region is known as active region. In this active region, the drain to source current increases. So, this is very important. You need to remember if VGS is less than VT, transistor will be off and if VGS is greater than VT, the transistor will be on. Now, there are some factors that are affecting the threshold voltage. The first factor is the type of gate material that is used. So, here different gate materials have different working functions which impact how easily the conducting channel between source and drain is formed. So, there will be an effect of gate material that is used on threshold voltage of the MOSFET. The second factor is gate insulation material. The gate insulation material is usually SiO2 which is silicon dioxide that will affect how voltage is needed to induce the channel. So, gate insulating material will affect how the voltage is needed to induce the channel. The next factor is gate insulator thickness. So, the gate insulator thickness will affect the threshold voltage because a thinner oxide layer will have a strong electric field that will reduce the required threshold voltage. So, in this case, the thinner oxide layer will reduce the required threshold voltage because the thinner oxide layer will produce a strong electric field. The next factor is the channel duping. So, the higher duping concentration in the channel will increase the threshold voltage. Higher duping concentration increase the threshold voltage. Next factor is interference impurities. The charges at silicon oxide can shift the threshold voltage either up or down. 
So here you need to remember the charges that are present at the silicon oxide can shift the threshold voltage either upside or downwards. The next factor is body effect. The body effect is nothing but the voltage difference between the source and substrate. If there is a voltage difference between source and the substrate, if we say substrate which is nothing but a body, this will increase threshold voltage. So you need to remember if there is a voltage difference between source and substrate that will increase the threshold voltage. So these are the six factors that are affecting the threshold voltage. So first factor is gate material, then gate insulating material, gate insulator thickness, channel duping, interference impurities and body effect. Here the threshold voltage is also depending upon the temperature. So we'll understand the temperature dependence of threshold voltage. Here as a temperature increases, the carrier generation increases. Due to this, the depletion region become thinner. If depletion region become thinner, this will lead to decrease in threshold voltage. So as temperature increases, the carrier generation will also increase. So that will cause the depletion region to reduce or the depletion region will become thinner. So if depletion region become thinner, then the threshold voltage will also decrease. Usually there will be minus 4 millivolt per degree centigrade for high duping and there will be minus 2 millivolt per degree centigrade for low duping. So there will be a decrease of 4 millivolt per degree centigrade if there is a high duping in the MOSFET and there will be a decrease of 2 millivolt per degree centigrade for low duping MOSFET. So we can say the MOSFET will turn on more easily at a higher temperature. So for higher temperature, the MOSFET will turn on more easily. So from this discussion, we understood that the threshold voltage is crucial in switching behavior of MOSFET which means the threshold voltage will determine how this MOSFET will switch on or switch off and this threshold voltage will depend upon doping, bias and temperature. So all these factors should be controlled during design of MOSFET. Now let us understand threshold voltage adjustment. The threshold voltage adjustment or adjusting the threshold voltage is very important in MOSFET. The default threshold voltage might not suit every applications with respect to MOSFET. So we need some methods to adjust the threshold voltage. So whatever default threshold voltage that is available in MOSFET will not suit every applications of the device. Hence, we need some methods to adjust the threshold voltage. The two major methods to adjust the threshold voltage are the ion implantation which uses a method to add dopant to channel region to modify the threshold voltage. The second method is change gate dielectric. In this method, we can use materials with different dielectric constants to adjust electric field behavior in turn modifying the threshold voltage. So the first method is ion implantation. So in this method, we can add dupants to the channel region to modify the charge balance and hence the threshold voltage will vary or we can adjust the threshold voltage. The second method is to change the gate dielectric. In this method, we can use the materials with a different dielectric constant to adjust the electric field behavior that will modify the threshold voltage. The ion implantation. 
is a precise way to add dupent atoms directly wherever needed. This method is useful for fine tuning of threshold voltage. By using different gate insulating material, we can adjust the threshold voltage. Here we can use high permittivity materials like silicon nitrate that will lower the threshold voltage. The silicon nitrate has permittivity of 7.5 compared to silicon dioxide with permittivity of 3.9. If we combine these two, we can get an effective permittivity of around 6 that will lower the threshold voltage. The ion implantation is precise way to add the dupent atom directly where it is needed. So wherever the dupent is needed, we can directly add the dupent atoms that will help in fine tuning of threshold voltage. The other way is to change the gate dielectric by using different gate insulating materials. So here we can use high permittivity materials like silicon nitrate that will lower the threshold voltage. So here silicon nitrate is having the permittivity of 7.5 compared to silicon dioxide with 3.9. So if we combine these two silicon nitrate as well as silicon dioxide will get the combined permittivity of around 6 that will help lowering the threshold voltage. Here preventing the unwanted inversion is very important which means we should avoid field regions to accidentally invert. For this we use heavily duped diffusion. We should use the ion implantation and also increase thickness of oxide. So to prevent the unwanted inversion which means to avoid field regions to accidentally invert we can use heavily duped diffusions. We can use ion implantation and also we can increase the thickness of oxide. Now let us understand the concept of self-isolation. The mass transistor naturally self-isolate if the silicon only inverts under the gate and the region between the gate remains non-conducting. So MOSFET transistors naturally self-isolate if silicon only inverts under the gate and the region between the gate remains non-conducting under normal bias conditions. So finally, we can say the threshold voltage is very important for reliable and efficient MOSFET operation. The technique like ion implantation helps in optimizing the performance of the MOSFET and prevents error in operation of integrated circuits. So if you imagine designing a transistor for a microprocessor, every little shift in threshold voltage will mean a big change in timing, power and reliability of the processor. So we need to carefully control fine-tune the threshold voltage during fabrication. This is about threshold voltage in mass transistors. Hope you have understood the topic. Thank you.